firing! Four, three, two, one! No ordinary explosion, a clothing bomb. So that is a T-shirt dipped in explosives that is just blown and dried, yeah. blown up, and that would bring down a plane. Explosives expert Sidney Alford made it. It blew a nasty dent. That was flat. Yeah. And that's much yep. thicker than a plane. I mean, oh, a plane's aluminium. Yes, so sir. it would blow through yes, aluminium. Yes, certainly would. Yeah. He's showing me bomb-making technology security experts say Al-Qaeda plans to use and that current security screening would have trouble detecting. Uh, a bomb of the size that I showed you, containing an explosive in that sort of quantity, <clears throat> going off with approximately that violence, would certainly um, do a, a great deal of harm to the fuselage. This is where the T-shirt bomb was sitting on this steel plate, thick steel plate. Imagine if that was the skin of an aircraft, thin aluminium, would have blown a hole right through it. For years, Al-Qaeda's top bomb maker, Ibrahim al Asiri has been aspiring to this, blow up a plane. He's made several sophisticated devices, including the underpants bomb, targeting a plane landing in Detroit Christmas Day 2009. American sources fear a clothing bomb is Al-Qaeda's next logical evolution. Yes, I would not be at all surprised if someone started boasting they travelled to, uh, uh, let, us, uh, let us think of a country, the uh, United States, um, from um, Europe, wearing something uh, like what I'm just preparing. Alford shows us a little of how it might be done, leaving out some key details. How easy is it for an Al-Qaeda bomb maker to do what you're doing here in your lab? Well, if he has done a bit of chemistry, it should be very easy. Within an hour, we test the impregnated T-shirt material. There we are. And so that is, or could be, a T-shirt somebody wore on a plane? Yes, indeed, except a T-shirt would make rather larger bed. Not just explosive, but a fire hazard too. So somebody wearing a T-shirt of that on a plane, hard to put out. Would it, you would not be able to get to him in time to put it out. Back in the quarry, another test. Uh, just going to check something. Ready! Four, three, two, one! Shrapnel rips rock from the walls. We take a look. See, it's impacted here, didn't it? Oh, it was here, that's it was right. here. Alford, as ever, understated. It's not a nice thing to happen in an aeroplane, mind you. Nick Robertson, CNN, a quarry in the English countryside. Yeah.